Hello, and welcome to the very first installment of Witchy Wednesday. Um, I'm so glad that you are here. This is a new thing that I'm going to start doing every week, hopefully. Um, about a while ago, I got into witchcraft. Um, and then just last year, I found a great mentor who's like a really good source of information and inspiration. So that made me want to improve my craft as well and share it with others. So this, um, this series will hopefully be weekly and provide like a ritual, a spell, a tradition, something like that to help to like educate people and share what I have learned and something that I have become passionate about. So this week, we're getting into cord cutting. Um, we have energy fields, or as some people call them, auras. And our energy fields or auras can mesh or meld with those of the people around us. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good, especially if they're toxic, if they are ne'er to wells, you know, you don't want that because that'll just drag you down and you get uh, depression, anxiety. You're just not yourself when somebody has that kind of power over you, you know, over your energy. It just physically drains you. So this is especially true in our relationships. It can be family friends or frenemies, you know, um, family members, lovers, partners. Um, and when you're in that kind of an intimate relationship and things go back and forth like energy, that can be damaging for both parties. Um, but you may not realize that it's happening until one day it's like, holy crap, I need to get this out of my life because it's just dragging me down. And like, if you've already tried like talking with the other person, trying to like rationalize and say, hey, this isn't cool the way you're doing it. The way you're treating me, the way you're treating the kids, the way um, you, you did not give me a raise when I am clearly qualified X, Y, and Z, or friends who don't have your best interests in mind. Um, you may want to think about just cutting that cord that, and the cord symbolizes the power and the, and the tie that somebody has to you. Um, however, this can also be like an internal thing that you might want to do. Um, it can be for situations that you want to cut the cord to. It could be for feelings, um, self-limiting beliefs, all of these things can have so much power over you. And if you've already tried like rationalizing, like I said, or trying like other methods and it's just not working, why not give the cord cutting ritual a try? Um, I will put the ritual information down in the description box of this video and feel free to let me know if you have any questions, comments, um, concerns. Remember, always do this safely and with the traditions of your beliefs. So with that, enjoy, and I will see you in my next video.